Hey everybody, it's Friday! Can you all say Friday? Woo! How are we doing today, everyone? Uh, let me know down in the chat. Um, it is Friday and I have a different color shirt on, so I definitely didn't just change my shirt from the same day that I recorded yesterday's. Um, you can guarantee that um, I did this on a different day. So, yes, um, we want to continue on. Let me stay in frame here. Um, and we are going to be with, um, oh man, this is our half a century psalm here. We're in Psalm 50 today. So, would you guys all read along with me, please? The Mighty One, God, the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to the place where it sets. From Zion, perfect in beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes and will not be silent. A fire devours before him, and around him a tempest rages. He summons the heavens above and the earth, that he may judge his people. Gather to me my consecrated ones who made a covenant with me by sacrifice, and the heavens proclaim his righteousness, for God himself is judge. Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak. O Israel, and I will testify against you. I am God, your God. I do not rebuke you for your sacrifices or your burnt offerings, which are ever before me. I have no need of a bull from your stall or of goats from your pens. For every animal of the forest is mine, and the cattle on a thousand hills. I know every bird in the mountains, and the creature of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I wouldn't tell you. For the world is mine, and all that is in it is. Do I eat the flesh of the bulls, or drink the blood of the goats? Sacrifice thank offerings to God. Fulfill your vows to the Most High, and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you, and you will honor me. But to the wicked God says, What right have you to recite my laws, or take my covenant on your lips, or hate my instruction, and cast my words behind you? When you see a thief, you join with him. You throw in your lot with the adulterers. You use your mouth for evil and harness your tongue to deceit. He must have heard me the other day when that person cut me off. Shh. You speak continually against your brother and slander your own mother's son. These things you have done and I kept silent. You thought I was altogether like you, but I will rebuke you and accuse you to your face. He ain't scared. I will rebuke you and accuse you to your face. I'll say it right to your face. Consider this, you who forget God, or I will tear you to pieces with none to rescue. He who sacrifices thank offerings honors me, and he prepares the way so that I may show him the salvation of God. Psalm 50 is the word of God for the people of God. Can we all say thanks be to God?
Ooh. This one gets into some, into some good stuff, guys. So this one is, uh, this one's talking about, um, hey, uh, yeah, you bring all these offerings and stuff, but all this stuff's mine already. So, yes, thank you, um, and I will save you. But if I was hungry, I'd tell you, you know? Um, thank you. I appreciate all the praise you're giving me because this is a psalm of praise. We always want to praise God and we always want to go about things the right way. So yes, in the time, um, the offerings were of, um, of the current, uh, thing that they did, but it goes on to say it takes a turn. Um, and it says, all oh, you, um, all you bad people, um, you use my cause for something deceitful. And why are you doing that? He's like, stop it. Just don't do that. Because that's not a good thing. Um, and he's like, yeah, if you're going to be like me, I'll say it right to your face. He's like, I'm not afraid to get in your face and, and uh, say what I think about you. You know, this is, don't, don't use my ways against me. So, I mean, it even goes in here and it says, uh, well, I'll tear you to pieces with none to rescue. We're getting into like a Thanos finger snap here. I mean, this is this is heavy stuff. So, bottom line, um, apparently, God doesn't want you to misuse the word. Uh, God doesn't want you to misuse your power as as a as a follower of Him. Um, so, just don't <laughs> be a good person. Um, do good, do no harm, and stay in love with God, right? Those are the three main things that we worry about. Um, so yeah, if you guys could all pray with me today. Yeah, let's pray. Lord, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for showing us the ways uh, in which we are also, which, which we are pleasing to you, but we can also uh, do some bad things. Uh, sometimes, some of us don't, sometimes, some of us don't really realize it. Um, but you still find a way to show us and ask me how I know. Um, that's just how it is sometimes. But thank you for always being there for us, regardless of whether we know it or not, which we should all know it. But sometimes we go through some stuff. Sometimes we fall off. Sometimes we do bad things. And that's okay. But we want to make sure that uh, we thank you and we give our thanks and praise for the one uh, who gives us life and, and who is always there for us. So thank you. It's in your son's name that we pray. Amen. God is good all of the time. All of the time. God is good. God is good all of the time. God is good. Well, it's Friday. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. You know, uh, this has been so much fun bringing Daily Office to all of you. Um, and we're going to just keep on going with it. So Monday we're going to be in Psalm 51. Uh, we may have another special reader again. I don't know. Uh, you'll have to tune in to see. So if you guys could all just do one thing for me. Well, I guess do three things for me over the weekend. Uh, do good, do no harm, and stay in love with God, right? All right. Thank you guys so much. We love you. Have a great day and God bless. I'm just going to keep adding stuff to the things that I do at the end of here. <laughs>